Well, good morning, everyone. How are you guys doing? So many familiar faces. I say familiar faces, familiar, familiar names on a screen. <laughs> Oliver, it's Sophia. Good morning. Christy and Pinky and Heather and Silver Fox, of course. Good morning. Tony and Trains Simulator Brazil. I don't know. Have you been in chat before? That's a new name to me. Or maybe I'm just forgetting. But good morning, Jamie and I Love Foxes, Blockhead Brat, Emma. So many of the good ones are here this morning. Sock, good morning. Jojo, Tom. Everybody excited for, uh, for a stream today? I'm excited to stream, although I do have a bit of a sad story to start us off. It's a sad story with an okay ending, I guess. <laughs> uh, is I lost all of this. All of this gone. Everything that we did in our last stream. Um, I don't know, I don't know what I did, uh, but I must, I just must not have hit save. I must not have saved it and I must have just closed it because I loaded in yesterday to take a, uh, a picture to put on Twitter and, and Instagram and stuff this morning to promote the stream and it was all blank inside. <laughs> I was so sad, so sad. So the couple hours that I had planned to do something else... I rebuilt all of it. I rebuilt all of it from the ground up and uh, and that way we didn't have to sit through another stream of building it back up. So hopefully I got it somewhat exact, I guess, somewhat like how it was, but but yeah, that was that was such a such a sad time. <laughs> when you work so hard on something and then it's all gone, I get so frustrated, like especially in other video games that, you know, you're trying to go through levels and stuff if you like finally beat a few things and then you have to go back and do it all over again. Uh, yeah, it it was a bummer. <laughs> it was a bummer, but you know, hey, it's okay. I got it done. Now we're here. We're going to move on. I made sure I saved it like four times before I closed it after that. <laughs> Good morning, Totter. Good morning, Destiny. And Nathan Eck, hello, George. How are you guys? Lucas and Bravery. You guys are all here. Hope you guys are all having a really good morning. Or I guess afternoon or night, whatever it is for you guys. I'm going to start by placing more rocks because I didn't finish off this little section here. We got to cover this, uh, we got to cover this, what's it called? This roof that's sticking in. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day or evening or night or whatever it is for you. It's morning for me, as always. It's 8 a.m. 8 a.m. in the morning. Um, and I actually was up fairly late last night uh, for no good reason other than I just, I don't know, I just I couldn't turn off my mind. So I stayed up and and watched, uh, watched some TV and things. Um, I wasn't even watching anything super fun because I had watched all the content that I would normally watch. And so I was watching just, you know, Netflix and, and such. But I went to bed at like, probably like midnight or so. Um, and then, and then, yeah, now I'm, now I'm up doing this for you guys. So a little tired, <laughs> but what else is new? I guess, I guess I'm always tired. What else is new? A true gamer knows that the first three saves are just tricks up the sleeve of the game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I was so paranoid. I was like, I can't do it again. I can't go through this again. I have to make sure that I save it. Yeah, because especially with something like Planet Zoo, right? Like, this stuff is not... This stuff doesn't take, like, you know, a couple minutes. We spent... I mean, each hour is two, two hours. Each stream is two hours. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so I lost... I lost quite literally two hours worth of work, which is such a bummer, but, but yeah, what are you guys all up to today, uh, or the, having a, a good weekend, I hope, anybody doing anything fun? I have had family in town, um, or rather Matt's, Matt's family is in town, so we've kind of hung out with them, um, and we're going to head down to one of their houses, um, this afternoon, because some of his family lives here, some of them are from out of town, so we're going to go head down to, uh, one of their, his family members' houses that is here, and, um, hang out, because it's his dad's birthday, so we're going to do some birthday things, and, uh, and just hang out, so after I'm done with the stream, 
Actually, yeah, pretty much after I'm done with the stream, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing a couple things and then getting ready to go down there, hang out and have a relaxing afternoon. So uh, the boys, Nick and I were chatting all about the San Diego Zoo last night. You and him have officially sold me on going there for your next vacation. You absolutely should leave. And I don't say that as just like the biased person that I am, but it is, it's such a fantastic zoo and they've done so much to make it um, just beautiful and the exhibits are all open and it just, it's an awesome zoo. So yeah, I really, I really do highly recommend it. And you know, it is, it is kind of world renowned or world known so worth worth the trip that and the safari park everybody al always forgets about the safari park which will forever be the wild animal park to me so those of you that grew up in san diego they recently changed the name a few years ago now but originally it was the uh the uh, wild animal park now it's the san diego zoo safari park um uh, but yeah both are definitely worth it Savannah, this build is amazing. This is the first stream I've caught and it looks great so far. Thank you so much, Pinky, and I'm glad to have you here. Yeah, like I said, we <laughs> we did this last stream, kind of. So we did this last stream and then I did it again by myself. Uh, <laughs> but thank you. Yeah, it's for our snow leopard. For those of you that aren't, uh, aren't aware or new here, I always forget to kind of explain what I'm doing. Um, this is River Rock Zoo the first first zoo project I kind of started so um, we are adding snow leopards as one of the last animals uh, before we move on to something else bigger better funner things Funner is not really a word but you know you get what I mean <laughs> you're building a new zoo that's awesome bravery does it have a certain theme I uh... I kind of want to get into building like a desert zoo. I thought that could be fun. Does that look good there? Don't want to overplant it, but more greenery is always better. I like it. I like it. Uh, I'm building a PC. The graphics card finally came. That's awesome, Harry. I, uh, I've always wanted actually to build my own PC. The one that I'm on now I bought um, because I, I severely needed an upgrade from my laptop, um, as you could probably imagine. So I bought it. That way I would have like the warranty on it and all that kind of stuff being, you know, my first desktop as an adult. But my next one I do, I do want to build myself. I'm getting close to needing an upgrade anyway. <laughs> My computer is is quickly running out of memory. <laughs> hey, Emily. I love River Rock Zoo. Any idea when you're going to finish the polar bear habitat? <sighs> Eventually. So that, that's probably not the answer that you wanted. <laughs> Eventually, I was really trying to hold out um, for... Uh, swimming mechanics for the polar bears. Really trying hard to hold out because, um, I want them so bad. I want, I want, um, Frontier to add, add diving and stuff to the polar bears and, um, and then was going to be able to, you know, show that off in the same build, or uh, in the same video rather that we finish off the interior of the polar bear habitat, but... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if I should keep waiting or just do it. Because I don't know. I have no idea when it's going to be coming. So, yeah. But eventually, I, I haven't forgotten about it. And I stick by my word of that we're not going to leave it unfinished. The polar bear habitat will be done before we kind of put a finished stamp on River Rock Zoo and move on uh, to other things. Uh, I just don't have an exact timeline. Yeah. How do you get ideas for the zoo? Uh, I spend a lot of time on Google and Pinterest um, just kind of searching things. And sometimes I search for specific things. Like sometimes I search for, oh, excuse me. Um, sometimes I search for, uh, you know, snow leopard habitat. Sometimes I search for big cat habitat. Sometimes I just search for zoo. Um, Sometimes I just search for architecture, you know, or a certain style of architecture, like modern architecture or something like that. Um, so it, it really just depends. 
Um, but yeah, a lot of time on Google, a lot of time on um, Pinterest. A lot of time on Pinterest too. And I create, uh, you know, boards on Pinterest so that when I need to go back and look at things, I can. So I have like a whole log of stuff that I found inspiring in the past. All right, guys, I think, I think that about completes, completes that. Although I do want to put a couple more plants right here in the front. But as far as like major foliage goes, for now I'm satisfied. <laughs> Hi, gotcha gamer. How are you? Welcome. Glad to have you here. Oh, I have caps lock on. <laughs> it's like I'm screaming while I'm searching things. Don't want that. We're getting a search bar though and challenge mode market is going to have around 500 animals on the market at once, I think. What are you talking about? Are you talking about Planet Zoo Leaf? Or are you talking about a project that you're working on? I mean, I guess it could be both, but... <laughs> Thank you, Silver Fox. Search function. They didn't specify bars, but we're holding out hope. Yeah, what game are you talking about? Uh, oh, he Heather, did you have a headache? Is it gone now, I hope? I hope, I hope. Headaches are the worst. I, and I'm, I'm also such, just a baby, I guess, because I, I get headaches and I'm, like, dysfunctional. I can't, I can't do anything with a headache can't think. I get migraines every once in a while, but fortunately not, uh, not, not too much. Okay. So let's, I think, so I did the flooring in here too, by the way, guys, I, I drew this in. So it's all continuous. What I need to do, did I, was I a good, I wasn't necessarily a good, good builder. I didn't put this in separate groups, but that's okay. It looks like we can just dis deselect the, uh, the glass. I gotta bring this in because it right now looks like this side is just solid glass. So let's see if we can spin this around nicely. Yeah, you're talking about Planet Zoo? Is it something? Oh, Tim revealed some information on the forum the other day. Oh, I'm not on the forums. I can't ever keep up with them. So I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm such a bad content creator. I don't, I don't keep up with them. I, I don't have time to sit there and read. I barely have time to keep up with my own Discord, to be honest. I just, yeah, I'm just busy. Just busy, busy, busy. Um, let's see. Let's move this over a little bit, I think. I sink, I sink. There we go. Uh, I was supposed to play Among Us last night, but my head was pounding. Oh, that's a bummer. I'm sorry, Heather. I hope it's better this morning. You want to see the result? It looks amazing already. We're almost done. We're almost done. Your sister's gone to the hospital many times for migraines. That's a bummer. Yeah, that's, migraines can be tricky because some people get them um, as like neurological migraines. And those are, those are awful. Awful, awful. So my sympathy goes out to anybody who, uh, who deals with migraines. I deal with them very infrequently. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Very infrequently. So I'm very lucky. Um, but I know that's not the case for everyone. And that is a bummer. Um, so if, we, if this lines up with here. Like that. How far over is that? I guess we can leave it as rock. It'd be like a rock wall. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, I guess. This needs to come forward a little bit, though, because we got a little bit peeking out. Little bit peeking out. We don't want that. I'm honestly not the best at making habitats on Planet Zoo. You'll get better. It's just practice. I actually have a um, tips and tricks build uh, video that I am currently working on. Um, and it's taking me forever because I'm being really picky about it. I'm trying not to because I'm sure it's going to be fine. But I'm being really, really picky um, because I, uh, I've i not made a tutorial before. So I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, that's all I can say about it is I'm being real, I'm being real, real picky. Uh, but hopefully I'll get that out sometime, you know, before the next year. 
before everybody is done playing at Planet Zoo. Um, but yeah, you'll get better. It just, it really honestly takes a lot of practice. And, um, the video that I'm working on, like I said, is, is build tips and tricks, but it's mostly for like, honestly, it's mostly for like thought process. Like, it's not like this is how you put down trees, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, I do want to make future tutorial videos, but this one's more geared towards, uh, towards mindset and things you can do to just get better. So like general, um, general tips, I guess. I am probably not making any sense because I'm trying really hard not to tell you exactly, you know, what the script for the video says, because <laughs> I want it to be, uh, I want it to be a surprise. I want people to, to want to watch it. I can't just give it all away right now. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys will find that helpful. And then I do actually ask, uh, there's uh, a video coming out tomorrow. So for those of you guys that are here, you're the first to know there's a video coming out tomorrow because um, we finished up that primate habitat that we were doing for Socorro Zoo. Um, so that speed build is coming out on the channel tomorrow. And I ask in that video uh, for a, for any suggestions, <clears throat> excuse me, for any suggestions on uh, on tutorials that you guys would like to see from me. Um, because I think I want to make more. So I know there's lots of tutorials like uh, in the video. I think I even say, you know, Estan and Drew, Palsley and Delady, um, Rudy, they've all made wonderful tutorials and I do highly suggest checking them all out. But if there's anything you want to see specifically from me, um, yeah, let me know because I, uh, I kind of want to make a few. Yesterday Frontier was trolling in the JWE section. They first confirmed JWE2, then said it won't come out. They have to be working on something, right? They have to be working on something. But, I mean, again, I don't know that for sure, so... We shall see. I think I want this to be lower, because it's just going to make it... Easier... Mm. Maybe, 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 maybe I should make this taller. I'm trying to think about how to hide it from, oh man, I'm so bad. It's all one group. If this was all a separate group, my life would be easy. But no, I have to make it difficult. <laughs> I have to make it difficult. Uh, good morning, Carly. How are you? Hope you're having a good morning. Wonderful member of our banana bunch. Nice little green name there. The little bits of banana next to your name. Love to see it. Love to see it. Uh, nature tutorial. What do you mean by nature tutorial? Like, um... Like, I guess, how to make nature-y things? Is that what you mean? See, I kind of want to make this taller. Like so. So that it has some sort of height variation. That way, that way the roof is not all just, all flat. I mean, it's flat, but it'll be flat at different levels. Yeah, how's that? How's that? And we can even, we can even make it so... No, actually, I want the whole top of the circle roof to be visible. So we'll do just, just below. Perfect. All right. Great. Now, it doesn't meet the floor anymore. We must fix that. Oops. There we go. Photo taking and framing. You're so bad at getting screenshots. That's a good one. That's a really good one, actually. I, um, yeah, I like that one. Thanks, Leaf. That's an awesome suggestion. Um, it's a little bit more niche since a lot of players obviously don't just make Planet Zoo content, but I think it could work. I think it could work. I do, I do have, oh, look at that color code. It's all C's. Uh, <laughs> I do have something like that, like a point in the video that I'm making. Um, but it doesn't go, it doesn't go super into depth. Well, to be honest, I haven't written it yet. So, um, oh, did I not copy it? Well, good thing it was all C's. Um, 
super into depth. So yeah, I could probably include more of that. I, uh, photography is a hobby of mine. And so that's kind of where I get, I get my skill, I guess, my knowledge of screenshots. I've also had help from a couple different content creators, Delady being one of them. Um, cause she's awesome at, at taking, at taking screenshots. So she, she helped me a while ago, which was very, very much appreciated. Very helpful. Very helpful. Hello. Hello, Barney. How are you? Uh, what's your question socks? Savannah, can you make a camera tutorial? Because I use E and Q to turn around and turn on free camera mode to go up and down with E and Q. Can you help me with this? Yeah. So sock, like other people are saying in the chat, I move my camera entirely with my mouse. So I'm going to take a drink of tea. I move my camera entirely with my mouse. So right now I have like a scroll button, which is what I'm scrolling on right now. It's zooming in and out. If I click and hold that button, I drag my camera around and then to move my camera. So I'm going to move the camera, right? I'm going to hold my right click button and move over to the right and move over to the left and just drag my hand back and forth. That's how I move my camera around. Um, Drew and other people like him are weirdos and they move their camera around with the WASD keys. Uh, but I don't do that. <laughs> I do not do that. I move it all with my mouse. Please do a zoo with the lady. I wouldn't say no, but you know, we both have really busy schedules. So it's, it's hard when you, when you're creating content and stuff, I personally want to do all sorts of projects and I've, to be honest with you, I've turned down, uh, four collabs recently. Um, yeah, I turned down four collabs in the last, um, few weeks and it's only because I don't have time. It's not because the collabs weren't awesome. It's not because the collabs weren't good ideas or anything like that. It's, it's 100% purely because I barely have time for my content right now. Um, and, and I don't want to say yes to people and then have to either back out or flake or whatever it is. So yeah, I, I don't have a whole lot of time, but it would be fun. It would be fun to do a zoo with her. That would be a lot of fun. Let's see. We're going to make sure this matches. I have 400 hours in Planet Zoo and never tried panning with the right mouse button. Yeah, I learned something, to be honest, Tom. I learned something almost every time I watch another creator. Like something as simple as I do it all the time now. To turn on and off angle snap, I press the space bar because it turns it on and off very, very easily. I had no idea that that was possible and what a time saver it would be until I was actually watching the Dutch lion over on Twitch. And he said something about it and I was like, oh my gosh, mind blown. I had no idea. <laughs> so yeah, I learned something almost every time I watch other creators. And that's actually kind of why I watch so many other creators is to learn, learn so much. Oh, and I didn't want to mention to you guys, the chat's going to be a little bit behind more so than normal. I turned the um, latency to normal because we were having buffering issues last time and I didn't, I want to experiment. I, I don't think that is the reason, um, but with YouTube being so annoying, um, wanted to, wanted to, to make sure that it wasn't going to be an issue again. Oh, this is, this is why. So the uh, point being is that your chats are going to be a little bit more behind than they normally would. So it'll take me a, a minute or two to see them extra than it normally would otherwise. <laughs> you, <laughs> Hi, Barini. How are you? <laughs> I hope you're having a good day. If I, uh, if I ever eventually become a full-time YouTuber and don't have to go to work, uh, which actually that's, that's not really my long-term plan. Um, then I will collab with everyone because I'll have time. <laughs> but until then, I, uh, I gotta, gotta stick on my own. 
That way I can I can make sure to get things done and not overwhelm myself. That way you guys actually get content instead of me getting too tired and sleeping, turning into a sloth. <laughs> Just sleeping all day. Let's actually not duplicate that. Let's actually bring this all the way over so that it's here and then it will go, it will go down. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't know why I'm doing the sides in plaster. I want to do the sides in uh, in this wood. That's what I want to do. Don't know what I was thinking. Uh, can you help me with how to use OBS to record? Sock, if you go on, um, on YouTube, <laughs> where we are now, there are so many tutorials on OBS, on streaming, on recording, on Premiere Pro, on all of that. Um, and it's not that I don't want to help you, um, but I do get asked lots and lots and lots for help on that kind of stuff. And I'm always happy to offer advice, but it, when it comes to, uh, actually just kind of learning it from scratch, one, you're going to be better off if you learn it by yourself because you're going to retain it, uh, longer or better, I guess, if you kind of work your way through. Um, but two, there are far more advanced people than myself. Um, and that's exactly how I learned how to do everything. I sat down and I was like, I want to record, uh, game videos. How? And I literally typed that into Google and I said, how do you record your screen on your computer? And videos came up with how to use OBS. Um, so I highly recommend you do the same thing called active learning instead of passive learning. It's a lot more difficult. It's a lot more time consuming, but it pays off a lot more in the long run. So I promise, I promise you will be happy with that. You're back, Jojo. You didn't miss very much. I'm, uh, I'm trying to accomplish the monstrosity of a roof that I created for myself. And I did it to myself because I created the building without thinking about the roof. And then here we are having to deal with the roof. So we're trying, we're trying to make it look somewhat pretty. Somewhat pretty is the goal. Should be a t-shirt. I aim for somewhat pretty. <laughs> uh, you're fine with the chat, even with me. Great. What are good ways to hide staff facilities? Uh, it really depends. It depends on, on your zoo. Um, like what, what your theme is and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I generally tuck them as much as I can behind habitats, uh, cause that's where I think they would be. And so I kind of build them into habitats most of the time, but that's, that's a hard question to answer. Cause there's, it, it depends on what your project is, what you're working on. Why, why do you do this? Thank you. Uh, you think the dome is a little too lopsided? <laughs> yeah. How about we just say there was like a sinkhole on one side and so they, they built it correctly and then it, then it collapsed, but the glass didn't break miraculously. It's some sort of like superhuman glass where it just kind of like sunk to the side, like Superman engineering. All right. This is going to stick out, but we're going to move, we're going to move this piece to cover it. We're gonna move that piece to cover it. You hate roofs. Yeah, I, I hate is a strong word, but I greatly dislike roofs. <laughs> well, okay, I hate, I, I greatly dislike building roofs. It's not like I hate roofs. Roofs are actually very useful. My house has a roof and therefore I don't get rained on, which is great. So I don't hate roofs, but um, building them is not so much fun, especially when you think about just the build first and not the roof part. And then you're like me, you're stuck here trying to figure it out and piece it together. Uh, Hey, how do you plan your layout for the zoo? Do you do it before starting? <laughs> so this, <laughs> this question makes me laugh only because, uh, I don't, I literally, okay, hold on, pause. We're going to take a little field trip. So I quite literally with River Rock Zoo, right? I started over here and I built the entrance and I was like, I like this entrance and the path went this way and it went that way. 
So then I was like, okay, well, I know I want there to be a viewing area for the wolves right in front, right? Oh, and I put this, I put this river down specifically for River Rock because it's River Rock Zoo, so it needed to have a river. So I put this down like first and foremost before I did anything. So then I built this habitat and then I was like, wow, my, my timber wolf habitat has like a nice curve here. What if I did something curvy over here? Okay, let's add pronghorns because they're North American. Let's add them there. And then from there, I think I went, now I have this little like L-shaped thing with this bridge here and it's over the river. What's an animal that likes water, but likes to be at the front of the zoo or is good at the front of the zoo? Oh, let's do flamingos. Okay, great. And then I went over here and was like, let's go on the other side of the path here and make, so I literally was just like, wow, here's an open spot. Let's put an habitat in it. I, I, this is, this is zero thought process whatsoever as far as like where things are going like this I was like okay it's right next to the entrance there's like this little L shape here I bet I could put like a nice little habitat the river's going through it great let's put reindeer <laughs> that that I mean quite literally that's what I was thinking so I'm I'm a bad person to ask for that because I don't necessarily plan my zoos at all so yeah Hi, Erin. My morning is going very good. I, uh, I am a little tired as per usual, but, uh, we're getting some things done. Where'd my piece go here? Getting some things done on this snow leopard habitat. I really want to get this one finished up and, uh, put into a speed build for you guys so you can see it. Obviously that's the point, but yeah, my morning is going good. I, uh, I didn't eat anything though. So in about, about an hour, I'm going to get real hungry, <laughs> but that's okay. I love the look of the wood floors in the zoo. Gives it so much character. Thanks, Leaf. Yeah, that was really the main, the main inspiration driving factor behind this zoo is just that it was going to be modern and it was going to have lots of that, that wood colored tone to it. Um, and I love this zoo, I do, but I just, like I've told people before, my building skills have gotten so much better than when I first started. And I know you guys love this zoo, like I said, I do too. Um, but some of the stuff I built in the beginning, I can do so much better now. And so I, um, I'm ready to kind of move on to something new and uh, try a different style and just, you know, expand my creativity, which is why I'm looking forward to, uh, like, Sakura Zoo is probably my favorite zoo project that I have right now because of the the lower budget and just the aesthetic of it. I just, I love that zoo. So that's probably the one I'm going to turn my attention to uh, after we're done. Like turn my attention to pretty strongly after we're done with, with River Rock Zoo. Plus I like stumble on my tongue every time I try to say River Rock Zoo. So it'll be nice to not have to say its name anymore. <laughs> there we go. Then we have a little bit, a little bit of variety. Oh, and we need to move this over to cover this and that. So it's dual purpose, dual purpose. Great, beautiful, just like that. It's awesome. Oh, now we have that one. Can we cover them both? Now nah, we'll put a planter there. We'll cover it with a planter. Something new, River Rock Zoo, River Rock Zoo 2. No, that's even more of a tongue twister. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like that one. Hi, Epit. How are you? Uh, what happened to Sundew? Wow, I can't believe you remember that one. I mean, it's still on the channel, so it's not forgotten. But um, I lost inspiration for that one. That's the one that I made for the... What? Oh, that's the one I made for the South American DLC. And the South America pack was the first pack... Um, I got sent by Frontier, but I didn't get early access for that one. I just got a game code. Um, and I, so I was behind the ball on that one and I don't know. I just, I, I personally didn't like, I liked the style of it, but it's not like my favorite. So I just lost inspiration real quick working on that one because of that because it just wasn't like my personal style, if that makes sense. So yeah, so I kind of lost motivation on that one. There is a half finished project over in, uh, in Sundew Safari Park. Um, I was making a, making a, like a butterfly house, um, 
I don't know. Maybe, maybe, but I, I'm ready for something new. Like I said, that one, that one was even, uh, as old as, um, as River Rock. <clears throat> I mean, slightly newer because I started River Rock first, but still. Now this, yeah, okay, that is a box. So I can go in there without, without going into the actual inside part of the habitat. Great. Uh, when will you upload a zoo of your own creation on Workshop and which one will be first? It'll probably be River Rock Zoo and it'll be when it's done. Um, I try to, um, to upload like, oops, little bits of things when I'm, when I'm done with them, like the Binturong Habitat. And thank you guys so much. You guys are all wonderful. It's on the front page of the workshop, which I can't believe. Um, try to upload little things like that when they're done and I have them. Um, but that one was like really easy to separate out for you guys. Uh, but full on habitats, especially like irregular shaped ones or ones that have a lot of pieces, they take time for me to kind of separate out and make them a usable workshop item. So it's easier for me. And, and I'll be very honest with you. The reason is, is just for sake of ease for myself. Um, that's the reason why I don't upload everything, like each individual thing. Oh, thank you, Heather. That's actually, I think that's a link I forgot to send you, but thank you. Yeah, that's my Steam Workshop. That's my Steam Workshop. I got a few things on there. Not, not too, too much, but there's a couple, a couple things. A couple things. Santa, can you start stream with 30 minutes late? You mean start at 8.30 instead of 8? No, we're going to start at 8. No way I can get up. I can get the majority of people here. I picked the time specifically um, because it's one that works really well with a variety of different time zones. But if you're ever late, you can always watch them back. They, I do keep all of the streams up on uh, up on the channel. I know it's a little different watching them, you know, not live, but but yeah, if you can't make it here at eight. I love your zoos. Welcome. Don't apologize for being late. It's never, never a problem. I hope you're having a good day. Flex Lex TV. Hello. And somebody else came in. Uh, I love this game so much. Uh, hello. Hope everyone is doing well. Is it, do you say you're that as Beck? The, I'm assuming the backwards three is an E. But hello, regardless. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> Go ahead and put that down. Get this little trim on there. Uh, just chilling in your hammock. Oh, I'm so jealous. I would love to have a hammock. I have personally never owned a hammock. This is such a weird like aspiration to have, I guess. I've never owned a hammock, but I've had friends that have hammocks. And I want one. We have a camping hammock. Um, but I don't have anywhere at my house currently to hang a hammock, but I would love, I would love to, to have a hammock like in my backyard. I played like 300 hours of Planet Zoo in like a month and a half and now I'm so bored of the game I don't know what to do. I play Planet Zoo here, uh, and, oh, here and there, but I lost motivation to play the game. Epic that happens. It, it comes and goes. Your creativity is not something that you should expect to like perform, I guess, for lack of a better word, all the time. I go through burnout phases. I absolutely go through burnout phases. One second. I'm going to change. I'm going to change the song. Where, where's my Spotify? Here we go. I need something happier. Um, let's try that one. Um, yeah, so your creativity is not something that... Um, is probably going to be with you all the time. And uh, I just take a break, honestly. I Pushing yourself to, uh, to build when you're not feeling creative, not feeling motivated, for me personally, makes me not want to build even more. So I just take a break. And that's why when I am creative, I try my very best to build as much as I can. Because <laughs> I don't know when the, when the creativity, when the motivation is going to leave. Hi, kitty. How are you? Bye, Sock. We'll see you soon. Thanks for stopping by. Yes, hammocks are the best. And actually, speaking of, I want to go camping. 
I, uh, I have decided on a new life goal, uh, recently. And that is that I want, I want to turn a box truck or like a van into a camper and uh, be able to take that out camping and, and stuff. I have somebody I went to high school with, they, they have it as like their home, like their tiny living home. Um, but that's like, that's like my new, one of my new life goals. Like before I die, I want to do that. <laughs> I want to have a little camper van thing, but I, I don't want to just buy one. I want to like, I want to like convert it. I want to make it. I don't know when that'll happen because that's that's expensive, but um, hopefully one day. Hopefully one day it will happen. I don't know why this isn't like completely level, but that's okay. We're gonna fake it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have something in my throat. Sorry, guys. Oh, okay, I said I was gonna be hungry in an hour. I'm hungry now. <laughs> I'm hungry now. My stomach just started growling. There is that. That's not underneath. That's underneath. There we go. Great. Um, I bet I'm getting bored of building of a building game I'm currently playing. I've been playing it for almost four years nonstop, so I'm switching over to Planet Zoo soon. What other building game were you playing, Erin? I have been getting into, oh, and that's another thing that I do is I keep variety in, in what I do. So I don't, I don't just play Planet Zoo. Um, obviously I do play Planet, or I almost said Planet Sims. I almost play Sit. I, oh, wow. I'm going to start over. Hold on. I'm going to take a drink of tea. <laughs> take a drink of tea, back up, start over. Cause clearly I can't talk. I also play, uh, Sims. Uh, but that's that's on the channel. Um, Prehistoric Kingdoms, obviously, on the channel. Um, but then off camera, I do play games like uh, Red Dead Redemption, Call of Duty, Minecraft, uh, Stardew Valley, Pokemon Snap as of recently. So I keep it varied so that I don't I don't get bored. Why? All right, let's do this. This is probably easiest is to raise this up just a bit because I don't know why you guys are not level. Placed you all down at the same time. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, yeah, you're going to hear my tummy grumble, Heather, if it gets loud enough. I mean, it's grumbling right now. <laughs> Says, feed me. Feed me, I'm hungry. But I'm going to go on a run after this uh, with my doggos. Because they are very energized this morning and I need to fix that so they don't drive me insane. Um, do I want this to be a tall roof? I think I do. Um, I'm going to go on a run and then I'm going to come back. I'm going to, no, I don't. I want this to be a flat roof. Um, I'm going to then obviously shower because I'll be stinky. And then I'm going to go to Target because I <laughs> I didn't have a pair of shorts. This is going to sound funny. I didn't have a pair of shorts despite living in San Diego. Um, and we pretty much wear shorts all year round. Uh, but I needed a new pair of shorts for Disneyland because I didn't have a pair. Um, and so I went to Target, but Target's fitting rooms were closed. So I just bought, I think I bought like eight shorts because I didn't know which ones I was going to like slash which ones were going to fit and stuff and I kept two of them um and so now I need to go return uh the large amount of shorts that I have and then I'm going to a family member's house so that that is that's my day today not that anyone asked but there you go now you know that is what Savannah is going to be up to later this afternoon yeah that looks okay the roof is the roof. Honestly, I, I don't care too much about the roofs because you, from the ground, you don't really see them. So I'm, I'm more concerned with the facade and stuff like that. It's your birthday in two days, Droof. Happy early birthday. I hope you get to do something fun. Hang out with family or friends or something. But that's very exciting. My birthday is not until December. So I have a long ways to go. 
I was almost a Christmas baby. Almost. My birthday is December 15th. And my, my due date was actually Christmas. I was 10 days early. I was 10 days early. I was impatient and said, I don't want to be... I don't want to be in the womb anymore. I want to be born. So I came 10 days early. <gasps> Paul and Estan. Good morning, you both. Estan, how's camping? Are you home now? Is that why you're watching? <laughs> you're making me so jealous because I want to go camping so, so bad. And how are you, Paul? Hello from Canada. Hey, Megan. Sorry, I'm stretching. <laughs> My voice turns all weird like that. It's because I'm stretching. Okay, guys, we have a roof. We have a roof. Oh, oh, okay. Well, this side, we have a roof that looks decent. Decent. But we got to fix this. This, this. What did I, what am I doing over here? What is this? What is this? Why? <laughs> what was I thinking? What'd you guys let me do? We did this on the first stream, so I blame you guys. You were here. Okay, let's let's fix this. Let's fix this chaos. I don't want this here. I don't want that here. Um, we need to fill in this hole. Make sure the lines match up. Get rid of this Z fighting. There we go. Great. And then we'll probably bring... Is this all one piece? Of course it's not. Of course it's not. Uh, no, I want, there, there we go. Back home, well, I hope you had a really good uh, camping trip, Estan. I, like I said, I've been wanting to go, uh, I've been wanting to go camping for quite a while. We just haven't had the time. Because camping is super relaxing to, to kind of get away from everything, right? I saw, I saw some of your stories by a lake and everything. Very peaceful. Very peaceful. That's like, uh, here I would go camping like at Big Bear Lake. That would be kind of the equivalent. Like where you were at kind of looks like Big Bear to me. I'm good, just lurking, but you can't resist wishing a happy birthday. Of course. Everybody deserves to have a happy birthday, but I, I hope you enjoy your lurking. You editing or cleaning or just hanging out. Hope you're doing something fun or productive. <laughs> fun or productive or both. It's kind of what I'm doing when I lurk. Nor I'm normally playing video games or editing when I'm lurking in people's streams. Okay, now we have to fix this because... Ooh, I wonder. Is it going to be nice to me? Can I just use one of the pre... Uh, prefabricated gridded pieces so I don't have to finagle something. That would be great. If I had been born on Christmas, my name would have been Noel. That's a fitting name for a Christmas baby. I honestly, I probably wouldn't have wanted to be born on Christmas. My relatives combine my birthday and Christmas as it is. Well, used to. Extended relatives used to. So I think being born on Christmas would have made it even worse. But my mom was always very good about it, about making sure that, like, my birthday and Christmas were separate holidays. Because that's important, right? Every every kid, now I don't care, uh, but growing up, right, being a kid is like, you want to have a, a special ce celebration for your birthday. It's your, one, it's your one day a year to be special. There we go. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. Great. <laughs> I was worried we were going to have to use like the non-gridded pieces and, uh, and, and figure something else out. From what Savannah was just saying, she blames us for her roof issues. I do. It's easier to blame other people than to accept responsibility. So that's what I'm going to go with. <laughs> Your fault. I'm going to deflect. Deflect and point the finger at you all. How's that make you feel? I really stopped doing birthdays because my birthday is so close. I still do birthday stuff. I don't do like big... Honestly, Christmas is my favorite holiday. And Paul, if you are uh, still lurking, I know Miss P and I share that. I am all about Christmas. 
favorite time of the year, no competition, fight me on it. So I actually really enjoy, really enjoy uh, Christmas so much that I don't mind now as an adult that my birthday's kind of always Christmas themed and such. Let's bring this, bring this out a little bit. We'll have to hide that with a rock, but that's okay. We've gotten pretty good at hiding things with rocks, so I don't think it will be an issue. <sighs> Savannah, I'm bad at doing walls as it is, so roofs are just a big red flag for me. Yeah, so my problem is, is I don't think about them until after I'm done building, like, the building. So, like, for this build, for example, I, uh, I built, like, the glass dome thingy. And then just kind of moved on to doing this like surrounding part. And then after I was done building, it was like, oh yeah, it needs a roof. And it needs a roof that doesn't look like, like it was copy and pasted together by a thousand different little pieces. It needs like a cohesive looking roof. Is this going to stick through? Of course it is. Um, we might... Might be able to get away with hiding. Oh, that's much better. We can hide that for sure. For sure. So yeah, I, I'm really bad at, but I'm just bad at pre-planning. I just kind of, I just kind of do. I kind of go. Your favorite's Halloween. I like Halloween too. I honestly, starting in, starting at Halloween, I like the rest of the year. October, November, December. I decorate my house for Halloween, then for Thanksgiving, and then for Christmas. And to be honest, my Halloween decorations are are more just kind of fall themed uh, decorations. Like they're Halloween, but they're not like the traditional like black and orange and super bright uh, uh, stuff for Halloween. Um, but then I, I do decorate for uh, Thanksgiving and then I decorate for uh, Christmas. I just, I love the holiday season. So that is, that is definitely my time. Definitely my time. Um, I think we might, we might move this over just a bit so that it actually meets the, uh, um, oh no, we can't. We have to go up a little bit. Yeah, so I love, I love the whole end of the year, basically. <sighs> I was going to be a 4th of July baby. I have a friend, uh, a family friend that was born on Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Her birthday is Cinco de Mayo every year. And then I feel like I do have somebody that I know that's birthday is 4th of July. That one's not a bad one. Celebrate your birthday with fireworks every year. <laughs> That's not a bad way to celebrate. Okay, where did that little piece go? Oh, it's right there. I was like, there was a little piece that we needed to hide. Just like so. Perfect. Um, Estan, do you plan to dress uh, future little Estan up as Baby Yoda for Halloween? That would be very cute. <laughs> that would be very cute. I almost forgot, Estan, that you're going to have a baby. That's insane. That's so exciting. I completely forgot. Congratulations again. I know I already told you, but it's so exciting. So exciting. Okay, now that's all hidden from the inside. That looks beautiful. That looks great. That rock is sticking through the glass. Why? Let's... Um, let's just rotate this a bit and get it out of there. There we go. Perfect. Okay. All right. Now, honestly, okay. How am I going to do this? Let's make, let's make a little, let's make a, let's take part of this. Let's take part of this, copy it over. We're going to make like a little bulkhead cover hidden thing. Does that make any sense at all? We'll do this. We'll bring it over here. Yes. I want it to be low enough because I want to be able to cover it up with the rocks out there. Maybe like that. Is this, 
Is this two different pieces? It's not, but we can always make it, we can always make it a, a, a littler one. Plaster. Your birthday's January 27th. My sister's is January 29th. You guys are almost the same birthday. Yeah, my sister and I are only 13 months apart. She was born on January 29th, and then I was born on December 15th. I'm older, therefore better, uh, and only 13 months apart. So we uh, were only like one grade level apart and everything. Yeah, so pretty, pretty close in age. Pretty close in age. I like winter, but after last February, I've had my fill of snow for the rest of the decade. Yeah, see, and that's probably, I mean, honestly, yeah, you, Mario, you got it exactly right. I guess San Diego Christmas is warm. It is. I mean, it does get colder, um, but it doesn't get like, it doesn't snow here. So it's it's just kind of like cool temperatures. So I'm, I'm spoiled in that way. San Diego does not have any sort of harsh weather or anything like that. In fact, it rains and we all like, what is happening? What is this stuff falling from the sky? I can no longer drive on the road. That's what goes through every San Diegan's mind. It's really annoying. I have to go 30 miles an hour on the freeway because if not, I will die. Uh, maybe my family are weird. We don't celebrate Thanksgiving or Christmas. We have fun alternatives. No, no, that's not weird. Christmas and Thanksgiving are not celebrated all over the world. Not by everybody. So it's not weird at all. There we go. We just boxed it off. Hit it. Hit it from the world. You can't see it anymore. But now we got to do some more hiding on the inside. Fixed one problem, created another. All right, back inside, more rocks. Like this, can I, is there a smaller? There's not, because I want it to be upright with the panels. All right, we'll just have to bring a rock out. Um, Australian Christmas is weird, it's in the summer. Yeah, because it's like really hot in Australia for Christmas. Hi, Dario, how are you? Uh, damn, it must be hard to act interested in everybody's birthday. I couldn't be a streamer just because of that. But I'm here mainly to watch your build because your builds are so absolute. But I am interested. I'm interested in anything you guys have to say. So I don't find it difficult at all. But I do know what you mean. You know, some, some days, there's some days where it's like, man, I really don't really feel like talking to people or this, that, and the other. Um, that, and it, you know, it just takes takes a certain personality. Not everybody's meant to do every job in the world, so. I used to live in Oklahoma, but I live near San Diego, and yes, California, uh, they do freak out about the rain. They do. They're babies. They're babies. They don't, they don't understand. It's quite annoying when I'm, when I'm trying to drive around and, you know, get from place to place. People are freaking out that it's raining. Or it's foggy. People freak out when it's foggy. Um, I actually talked to somebody that came from, they live in New Mexico. Um, I met them like through work. They live in New Mexico and it was so funny because they were here and they were so um, like blown away by fog because in New Mexico, I guess there's not like fog in the mornings like we get like really foggy overcast mornings that like blows off especially where I'm at because I'm I'm about f six miles or so from the ocean so I get a lot of that like overcast um marine layer and they were like what what is this why is it all like you can't see in front of your face like <laughs> I mean you can see in front of your face but you can't see you know a certain distance away how do you deal with this? And I was like, what do you mean, how do we deal with it? It's fog. <laughs> it goes away. So I thought that was funny. But I've never been to New Mexico, so I don't know. I don't know. You're doing great, Dario. That's awesome. Where are you coming to us from? Because you're a new name that I don't recognize. Is it morning for you where you're at? Uh, living there for two years, a lot of Australians don't celebrate Halloween either. Yeah. I know. I always forget that you lived in Australia, Silver Fox. 
I don't know if I'd want to live there because San Diego is so very much my home, but visiting there 100%, I will do that one day. I think I've said before, um, Australia, Germany, Africa, Scotland, New Zealand, all on my very top. It's a very long uh, top bucket list of places to travel, uh, but all on my top bucket list of places to travel. All on my top because I, one, I love to travel, but two, I just, I am fascinated by seeing the world and seeing how other people live and just opening your eyes to the fact that like the way that I live is not how the vast majority of people live. You know, there's different cultures, different people. Um, and so that really interests me and, and traveling for that reason uh, is very interesting to me. So one day, hi Janella, haven't seen you in a while, how are you? You missed the stream last weekend, I know, but glad to have you back. Hope you're having a good morning. We are finishing up a roof. <laughs> And, uh, and then I think we'll do a little bit of, of landscaping around the outside because we need to, we need to make the outside of this building look pretty. You're from Alaska, Pinky. What part of Alaska? Or do you live there now or are you not, you not there? Um, why Germany, Mario? So I, uh, my family is German. Um, my, my ancestors are German, not anybody from my immediately, me, immediate family, um, but my family is German, uh, at least my dad's side of the family. And, um, I am also very interested in history, um, and specifically, you know, World War II stuff kind of really interests me as well. Um, so I would love to go see, see all of that stuff, all the memorials that they have and, and stuff like that. I think would be really, really cool. All right, I'm gonna leave that like that. Great. Awesome, beautiful. We've hidden it, great. So sorry I have to leave the stream because I have to join your flute class. Don't be sorry, it's okay. I hope you have a good time at your flute class. I always wanted to play the flute, but I never did. Juju. Hello. Don't apologize for being late. It's okay. Oops. I just spilled my tea on my um, hand. <laughs> Hold on. Pause. I'll be right back. Let me go find our snow leopard. Because now I have tea on my desk. Uh, here. Let's go do that. I'll be right back. Okay, back. Yeah, I like put it down and I guess too vigorously and it like, <laughs> it like spilled. It's on my mouse pad. It's, it was on my hand. It was on my desk. I actually didn't get it on myself other than my hand. So that was pretty impressive. <sighs> okay, so now what else do I want to do in here? Do a little bit. We got to put down some like information stuff there. Oh, I said landscaping, huh? Yeah, let's move outside and let's do some landscaping. Let's figure out where I, where I want the landscaping. Uh, if you're interested in World War II, you should visit Poland. We have a lot of stuff about World War II. Yeah, um, Poland's up there as well. My boyfriend's family is actually Polish. So we would love to go there as well. We have a whole long list of places that, uh, that we would love to finish or finish that we would love to visit. Um, and, uh, Poland is up there as well. Such a floofy tail. Yeah, they do have big puffy tails. They're so cute. 
I love the snow leopards. I love big cats. Oh, let's pause it because the zoo is not meant for playing. So it very much chaos would, would break out if we let it play. <laughs> so Savannah, I'm from Alaska, but I live in England. I'm from uh, a small town called Wasilla. Is that how you say it? Wasilla? Well, that's awesome. Um, Alaska is another one that's up there on, on where I would like to visit. Because I've never been. I've never been. Let's see. Yeah, I, um, living in San Diego, I have, I've not really gone too many other places. Like, the only other country that I've been to is Mexico. Um, and then as far as states go, I've been, uh, to Arizona and Washington. And then kind of skipped everything in the middle. And I've been to, like, New Jersey and D.C. and, um, uh, Massachusetts. And then that's, that's about it. And that's only because I have family in, in a lot of those states that I mentioned. There we go. Get a little bit of planter action going. Yes. Awesome. You made the stream. Hi, Shells Bells. How are you? Another amazing member of our, uh, our banana bunch. <gasps> Juju! Thank you so much! we get lots of bananas in the chat please and hearts and claps and whatever else you want to put in there thank you so much juju that's so sweet of you very surprising so appreciate it yes thank you all the hearts all the hearts all the bananas all the everything all the love <laughs> anything and everything that's awesome. You really need to visit Alaska and watch the Iditarod. Yeah, I would love to. Um, Huskies are my favorite dog breed. So I would, I would absolutely love, love to do that. Love it. If you're used to sunny, uh, I'd be shocked at Wales. Like Wales the country? Is it not very sunny? <gasps> Juju, two more dollars. What are you doing? Thank you. That's amazing. That's amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. I so appreciate it. You have two cents. Well, I so appreciate you spending what little you have on the stream and supporting it. You guys are great. Just being here is enough, but obviously... It is so greatly appreciated. Any any amount of donation or anything like that. I put absolutely everything that I get from the channel back into the channel. Um, so I can make it even bigger and better for you guys. That way we can always, we're always improving. We're always growing. And then we're always having more content, right? Because that's the goal. <laughs> it's more content. Let's see. I kind of want this to be... Um, not like super overgrown stuff outside. <gasps> Heather! Uh-oh, you guys gonna make me cry again? <laughs> I love huskies. Yeah, JB, they're they're my favorite. I have um I have two of them actually. They're not a hundred percent huskies, but they're um uh mixes. They are mixes. They're mutts, but one of them's half husky and one of them's like 30% husky. Thank you, Heather. All of the love, all the chat, all the chat, all the claps, all the hearts, all the nanas. <laughs> Everything for Heather. That's amazing. Thank you so much. It's been, it's actually been a really slow month on YouTube for a lot of uh, content creators this month. So it's, it's so greatly appreciated, you guys. Wait, who said Florida? I've been, oh, I've been to Florida. I forgot Florida. I've been to, um, I've been to uh, Disney World. I went to Disney World once. So I have been to Florida. Fun fact, Huskies uh, that are Iditarod racers actually eat rocks to help digest food while running. So yeah, racers love rocks. <laughs> That's interesting. There's a lot of animals that um, that actually consciously eat rocks to uh, because they have to help eat their or digest their food. <gasps> Jesse! 
Thank you. That's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you so, so much. You guys are fantastic. And I do mean it when I say I truly, I truly do think we have one of the best communities. That's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> chat, chat, chat. Ah, yes. Please go to India. Uh, you know, uh, Elephant Puppet, I'd love to visit everywhere. I don't, I, I mean, I have a top list, obviously, but if I ever have the chance to visit basically anywhere, I, um, I'm not going to say no. I, I love to travel, like I said, and I would love to get to basically everywhere in the world. Is that realistic? Probably not, because uh, I only have so much time in my life and so much money in my wallet <laughs> to, uh, to travel, but um, I would love to get everywhere if I could. Everywhere. I'm wondering, that looks okay, right? Maybe we'll do a little bit on the front, because that was kind of my intention, is making this like a little trellis thing. Oh, you guys are amazing. You guys are truly amazing. I've always wanted a husky, but my mom is scared of them. They're not an easy dog breed to keep. I will say that. So, you know, they, they have very high energy. They're very smart. They're really vocal. Um, sometimes my little one, they don't shut up. <laughs> they talk constantly. They bark and howl and stuff. Um, so they're not an easy dog breed to keep, but I, I love them. I think they're fantastic. And they are gorgeous. You're right, Heather. Who's cutting the onions? Your goal is to make Savannah cry. I mean, not a bad goal if that's the way you're going to do it. <laughs> right? Not a bad goal. Um, I don't know if these will quite fit in. Yeah, why not? This is, this is like a fake planted... Fake planted planter here. So we'll put a few of these in. Add a little bit of green. Um, gotta thank, thank, I think Bold and then Estan stole it from Bold. But I stole it from Estan is where I saw it. It's using these trees like this. It's, it's, uh, it's beautiful. I love it. I love it. All right. That looks pretty good. I like that. Let's do, let's do a little bit more of the vines up on this side. Line to surface again. I used to want a husky, but fell in love with the Shetland Sheepdog. Shetland Sheepdogs are really sweet. I, um, one of my coworkers has a Sheltie and, um, and he's so sweet. He's so smart. So they, they're really good dogs too. I think, I, I mean, honestly, I'm one of those, I believe that any dog can be a good dog. I don't believe that there's bad breeds. I believe that there's bad owners. Um, so I think, I think there's a lot of dogs that can be, that can be really good dogs. But I have, I have two husky mixes and then I have a pit bull mix. He's like a pit bull lab is what he is. You couldn't meet me in Florida. I'm not going to Florida. <laughs> I'm not going to Florida. So I don't think anybody can meet me there. I went there a couple years ago. Do this. I'll rotate this over a little bit. There we go. Perfect. You have rabbits. Rabbits are good pets. I work with rabbits. I don't own one, but I work with them. They make really good pets. Yes, no bad dogs, no only bad owners. I agree. I agree. Ah, uh, Tom! Thank you for contributing. That is so appreciated. Thank you so, so much. You guys are the best. Absolute best. Yeah, you guys are all so sweet. So sweet. Thank you. More love. More claps. More hearts. You guys are fantastic. Fantastic. And honestly, the reason why I enjoy doing this so much, like I love video games and I decided to start making content because I wanted to share my video games and such and all that kind of fun stuff. But um, you guys have really made it like more than worth it. 
more than worth it. Interacting with you guys, chatting, hanging out. Get to know what kind of dogs you have and like. Because <laughs> I'm an animal person, obviously. So I always, always appreciate some animal chat. Uh, will you go to Texas and see the Texas Longhorn? I'd go to Texas. It's not really on my top, but... <gasps> Shells, bells! My goodness, you guys. What has gotten into you today? I'm not complaining. I just want to know. <laughs> It is not bad at all. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. You guys have no idea how much it means to me. Just the views and everything mean a ton to me, but this is just so above and beyond extra. I, I so appreciate it. That and the support, you guys are all fantastic for supporting everybody who is uh is supporting the channel just showing the love that's what i like to see everybody being positive everybody being nice to one another that's exactly what we're here for there we go that looks okay right uh you missed a lot of donations drew you did today i guess today is a donating day which again i'm not complaining about I moved my mic a little bit. I feel like I might be getting a little bit over uh, loud on you guys. Over, it's not overexposed. That's lighting, but uh, I don't own a dog, but help the street, but help the street dogs by giving them food and water. That's very nice of you. <laughs> if I do do a future community meetup, I hope I choose Aruba. If I choose Aruba, it might just be like. Me, because <laughs> I don't know how many people would follow me to Aruba. <gasps> Thank you. Is it X I choose you? I choose you. Oh, it's I choose you X with an X on either side, right? Thank you so much for the two dollars. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Thank you so so much. You're distracting me. I'm trying to get things done. I'm trying to get things done and you guys are distracting. I'd rather sit here and talk to you guys than build and plan at zoo at this point. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's go searching because what kind of wall do I have around here? Um, I made this kind of wall. Uh, that doesn't really fit. Let's go back over here figure out what I want to do. Thank you. And yeah, welcome in, Charlie. How are you? Seven donations. I know, Erin. It's fantastic. You guys are showing all the love today. All of it. It's amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, actually, let's just take... Should do concrete, I guess? We do stone and look at some sort of border on here. Where is this right here? Maybe I'll use this one. Uh, Boogaloo Snow Leopard and bad owners need to go to the pound and the dogs will live in the best houses. I don't understand the first part of that sentence, but yeah, bad dog owners shouldn't have dogs. <laughs> You're exactly right. Uh, my dream dog is a Doberman. I love how they're great uh, to train and big dogs are amazing. Yeah, I'm a large breed dog person myself. Um, not that, you know, I don't think small dogs are bad. I just prefer big dogs. Um, and my sister actually owns a Doberman. She rescued him. Um, a couple years ago, and um, he's a good dog. He's he's a rescue dog, so he does have some training behaviors, but he's a good dog, and and they do make good dogs. My grandfather had um, Dobermans. That was like his his breed of choice. Is he loved he loved Dobies. So I grew up around them. Um. The other day, India had a cyclone, so I found a baby pigeon who was injured and was being attacked by a crow, so I saved it. Oh, Drew, that's awesome. Poor baby pigeon. Getting attacked. That's no fun. 
But good job for saving him. My, um, we saved a, well, I don't think we actually saved it because I don't think it was in too much danger, but there was, uh, well, I, I take that back. So at my, at my parents' house, my sister still lives there. So her Doberman is there and her Doberman found a baby possum. Um, fortunately found the baby possum while it was still underneath something. So he couldn't get to it. Um, so we rescued him from, we rescued the, the baby possum from the Doberman and, uh, and saved its life that way because I'm sure my sister's dog would have uh, would have hurt him if he would have gotten a hold of him. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, that we do have, and it's quite frankly funny. What was that, Juju? I don't understand. Maybe I missed something. Don't y'all have street gators in Florida? Yeah, I think there's gators that, that run around on the street, right? I mean, maybe not like everywhere, but if you get close to close to the the water, I'm sure they come up out of the water. I love all dogs and I plan to have a pug and a corgi. <laughs> Pugs and corgis are funny. Corgis are especially funny. Corgis are um, super sweet dogs. Very high energy and very smart though. <clears throat> <clears throat> rescuing dogs is great for them and making sure they get great homes. Absolutely. The uh, facility that I work at, so I work in education, but we also um, do have a dog and cat adoption center. And that's really what we're most, <clears throat> most well known for. Sorry guys, hold on one sec. I had something in my throat. I didn't want to cough and clear my throat in your guys' face. That would be rude. That would be rude. Recently, I've started watching videos with Australian Shepherds and now you want one. Aussies are fantastic dogs. Again, very high energy though. Very high energy, very much a working dog breed that needs a job. So if you get an Aussie, you gotta be ready to ready to give it a job, whether it's running every day or um, or agility or whatever you wanna do with it, but they are not a not a sit at home dog at all. And the grooming. You gotta be ready for the grooming with the Aussies because they got the longer hair. But really, really good dogs. What dogs do I have? I have two husky mixes. So I have a husky cattle dog mix. I have a husky, what is she? She's like husky, Malamute, Pyrenees. Um, and then I have a Pitbull lab mix. So I have three. Silver Fox, thank you so, so much. Uh oh, this isn't long enough. Thank you so much for your future trip to Canada, because Canada is also on my uh, on my list of places to go. Thank you, I so appreciate that. That's fantastic. You guys are gonna fund my vacations, and you know if I take any fun vacations, I will absolutely vlog them for you guys so you can see. That would only be fair if you guys are funding them, right? <laughs> If you guys want to have just a walking pillow dog, get a Havanese. Mine is sitting in my lap sometimes for eight hours when you're working. Doesn't bark, likes hugs. Oh, that's very sweet. A nice cute little lap dog. Yeah, my dogs are not lap dogs. They are high energy working crazy monster dogs. <laughs> it's what they are. I love them, but they are crazy monster dogs. I have a Havanese and they are the best dogs ever. I didn't know you had a Havanese, uh, Leaf. They are great dogs. Need lots of grooming though, right? Don't they have, uh, don't they have like long hair? Let's go ahead and make this match and meet. Perfect. And we'll extend this out. Awesome. All right. It's starting to look like a, like a more finished building, right? Look at that. Now, question is, should we add? I think we should add. It's just looking unbalanced to me. I'm thinking we should add over here too. I think. I think, I think, I think. Um, I want to do tri ball with your dogs. Basically, it's a new sport from Germany. Herding yoga balls into soccer nets. That sounds like chaos, but all in the best ways. <laughs> Have you guys seen Flyball? Flyball is really fun to watch, I guess, at least in my opinion. Um, 
where the dogs run down and jump over all the the little jumps and then um and then uh uh get the ball off of the the what's that called like that little trigger platform thing i think that looks like a lot of fun it's fun to watch fun fun to watch the dogs run around like that let's grab this bring this over here here Hey, Leaf, so I watched a video and I feel bad because I thought you were a girl. Oh, it's okay. Leaf has some amazing content, though. He has some amazing content. Um, what did I just watch of yours, Leaf? I feel like I just watched a video recently of what you did. Now I can't remember what it was. But yeah, for those of you guys that don't know, while we're, while we're talking about it, Leaf does make some amazing content, and if you're looking for more Planet Zoo stuff, you should go go check it out. I do highly recommend. Yeah, mine needs a haircut at least once every two to three months. Yeah, lots lots of grooming. Lots of grooming. Uh, honestly, after seeing them, you'd love a chow chow. Yeah, chow chows are great. Chow chows are a difficult breed. They take... They take uh, um, a lot of work. They can be very good dogs, um, but they do take they do take a good deal of work to make them into good dogs. Uh, yeah, Janella, his mods are awesome. They are awesome. I totally agree. I don't play with them, but I think that they're awesome. They're really, really well done. If you guys are looking for mods to add to your game, I do highly recommend. There we go. That makes me feel less unbalanced. Makes me feel more like it's more like it's complete. Uh... <laughs> you love it. I know I have a pretty feminine channel appearance. You know what's funny is like like I consider myself to have a really feminine channel appearance, right? I mean my colors are teal and pink. Um, you know my font is cursive, right? Um, but the majority of my demographic are male. If you look at if you look at the the um, analytics of my channel, um, mostly mostly males watch my channel. So, just depends. <clears throat> Your dream breed is to get a golden retriever and an Aussie. Yeah, golden retrievers are awesome too, right? I love them. Wow, guys, look at this. We are almost done. I'm going to... I'm going to extend this, I think. Out so that we can make it meet over here. Like so. Like this, bring this back in. We'll just kind of do a little bit of outside stuff. And then, and then honestly, I think we can consider this done. Um, except for some of the, like the interior stuff, like the guest, guest, uh, what's it called? Education and such. I like this. I like this. Maybe I'll do a planter over here. I don't know how I feel about this, though, to be honest. Hmm. If we... Hold on. Let's try something. <clears throat> let's put this out of the way. Let's put it more out of the way so it's not casting a weird shadow. There we go. Let's go down here. And I wonder if concrete might just look better. Concrete. Flat roof right here. I'm wondering if this would just kind of look better because I can cut it off like this. Yeah, you know what? I think that matches River Rock Zoo much better. I think that matches I think that matches a lot better. Although, can we make this is recolorable, right? No, I didn't use the recolorable ones. Of course I didn't. Of course I didn't. Well, I like the concrete look. It matches River Rock Zoo a little bit better. 
little bit better. Uh, Genevieve, welcome. It's your first stream. Did I say that right? That's Genevieve, right? Yeah. Um, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for stopping by. Congrats, Primal. What? Oh, my goodness. You graduate tomorrow. That's a huge accomplishment. Congratulations. That's fantastic. Let's go ahead. I'm going to move this path over just a bit. That's fantastic. Graduating is awesome. Hard, hard work to graduate. So good job. Yeah, we'll bring that, we'll bring this over here and connect it this way. That way it kind of just runs, runs along this planter here a little bit more. Perfect. I think that looks great. I think that looks great. How much time? We actually have 30 minutes left. We have 30 minutes, yes. Oh, good. I got it right. I'm atrocious at pronouncing names. So <laughs> when I get it right, it, I get very excited. <laughs> uh, hi, Becca Boo. How are you? That rhymed. <laughs> uh, what am I building? We're building for the snow leopard. So our snow leopard is in here somewhere. Where did he go? Oh, there she is right there. We're building for our snow leopard. Come here. Come here so we can see you. Yeah, so we're building for our snow leopard here. And this is our kind of indoor habitat. Indoor habitat that we have going on. I know it's attracted protesters, but the zoo's closed. So there's not any protesters in here. What is your main problem? Social space. Hmm. Oh well. It's sandbox zoo. It's a sandbox zoo, so we're not too concerned about that. But yeah, we're building for our little snow leopard here, and uh, and we're pretty much done. I want to throw down... Oh, we need to do the inside, uh, inside stuff. So let's go ahead and separate this out and, and do the flooring so that it is continuous in here. Bring this over, drag it in. Great. Uh, your Hawaiian monk seal mod is a lifesaver for me. My zoo is in the tropics, so I didn't want to do gray seals because I thought they would be too hot. Yeah, Leaf has a ton of mods. A ton of mods. There's so many animals that are inv available in the game right now because of mods. It's awesome. And I am still hoping, you know, if I keep saying like July or so is hopefully when we should start to hear from Frontier again. It sucks that it's such a long wait, but... But hoping that we start to hear little whispers of a, of a new new DLC come July. That would be fantastic. In the middle of summer, hopefully. Cause I'm I'm ready for I'm ready for some more scenery pieces, to be honest. I am ready to have uh, more stuff to build with. Cause I loved I loved the animal pack. I love all the animals in it. I still am working my way through building with some of those animals, but the scenery pieces really, really, uh, them missing was, is, it's been kind of hard for just like my inspiration and such. Yeah. So really hoping we hear from them soon. If I bring this all the way out, this is going to go outside the building, right? Oh, no, it's not. Great. Awesome. That works. Uh, welcome, Pedro. How are you? <laughs> Whispers would be very nice. Yes, they would. Just, just a little. Just a little something. Just give us a little something. It would be fantastic. Uh, if it's a dome, then I'm assuming inside would be cold. So you shouldn't make an airlock door to keep the cold. Oh, I should make an airlock door to keep the cold in. Yeah, so, I mean... It is going to be colder, right? Because it'll be air conditioned. But the snow leopards are capable of living. Like this zoo is supposed to be in like San Diego's climate. And they're capable of living in that climate. So I'm not too worried. Like we didn't put down any snow or anything like that in the habitat. Because um, I'm not too worried about that part of the realism. Um, but you're right. The door would, would definitely keep the cold in. Have I ever made a lion habitat? No, I haven't. And there is a reason. Um, it's actually because lions are my favorite animal. 
and I want to make them like the perfect, I know it sounds so funny, I want to make them like the perfect habitat. And so I just haven't, I just haven't found like the right inspiration, the right reference photo um, to make a lion habitat yet. Perfect. I like that a lot better. I think that looks really good. I think that looks really good. Hopefully you guys do too. <sighs> Sorry, I'm yawning and stretching. My, uh, my neck is kind of killing me today. I, I get a lot of tension in my, um, like my traps and, uh, it's kind of bothering me today. So, Hey Tobes, how are you? I didn't see you come in. Are you just getting here? I hope you're having a really good day. You're doing a lion habitat right now, Mario. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, a li li little something from Frontier would be awesome. <laughs> uh, well, there's a post on International Bird Day that you got all excited about. Excited about <gasps> A post from Frontier on International Bird Day? When was International Bird Day? And Primal, no, I've never done an elephant habitat, but we're thinking of bringing them to, uh, to Tali Zoo. So I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to start building for them soon. Cause I want to put, um, I want to put Indian elephants in, in Tali Zoo. I think that's going to be the next episode. So I got to get that figured out, um, sometime before Friday. <laughs> Cause that's when, uh, that's when the episode comes out. But yeah, that's what I want to do. Where's River Rock Zoo located? Um, so the idea is that it's like a San Diego, North American climate. That's the idea behind it. So I don't have like a specific location. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's, that's the idea is that somewhere, somewhere in North America, some, some taiga temperate, um, uh, what's it called? Biome. I need to bring this out more because these plants are like way out here. So let's do this. Let's do this so they're not, not peeking through it so badly. Put this on there. My favorite animal in Planet Zoo is the lion. Outside of Planet Zoo, it's a snake. Any specific type of snake or just snakes in general? But yeah, lions are my favorite animal. They kind of always have been. I love them. I would love to go see them in the wild. Part of why I want to go to Africa so bad. <laughs> uh, I love elephants so much. I remember requesting them ages ago. So glad you're finally bringing them. Yeah, I wanted, um, I thought Tali Zoo could use like a, a big animal. You know, we just added Okapis and we just added the pygmy hippos. But I felt like we don't have any like big, like keystone animals, right? Like very typical animals that you go to the zoo floor. We have like flamingos, obviously, which are, are a very typical zoo animal. Um, we have the tortoises and stuff in the front. We have otters, but I think, I think it's time for a big animal. So Indian elephant, I felt fit better than um, the African elephant because I want to still keep it very tropical, obviously, with it being Tali Zoo. So I felt like we could do a little bit more of that tropical feeling with the Indian elephants rather than just with the African elephants. Yeah, they put up a bunch of discounts on International Bird Day. Um, you're telling yourself it was a teaser? Maybe. I don't know. I, I, I can't figure out exactly what their game plan is as far as, uh, as far as announcing things or what's a teaser and what's not, but hopefully... Uh, please do an extended time for franchise do like one hour. I'm thinking about it. So yeah, I did. I asked that in my last episode and, um, and we'll see, we'll see how much time I get. I, unfortunately this weekend with family being in town, my office is my guest bedroom and they stayed with us not last night, but the night before. Um, and so I lost a lot of time this weekend. So that being said, um, I will, there'll still be an episode Friday, hopefully. Um, but I'll kind of see what I can get to and, and how long I can play for. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully we will. Hopefully it will be a longer episode. We can get more done. We can get more done. All right, guys. Well, I am, I'm pretty satisfied with this. I think we need to to put a little bit more plants and stuff in the front of here. But other than that, I mean, this is, this is pretty much, 
pretty much a done habitat, I think. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Pretty much a done habitat. Very happy with this one. Very happy to have uh, gotten it finished, really. I think that is great. And now I actually, I have a list. Where's my list? My list says I have a polar bear habitat to work on. Shocker. I knew that. Uh, my primate habitat for Socorro Zoo will be live tomorrow. For those of you that missed it, I did say a little bit earlier. There's going to be a speed build on the channel tomorrow morning, so don't miss that. Uh, snow leopard habitat, my tips and tricks video, and then my Disneyland and California Adventure vlog. So though that's what I'll be working on, hopefully, uh, for the next next week or so. So hopefully get that out sometime soon for you guys. Let's go ahead and put some vines on this one. Vines on this one here. Perfect. Just like that. Great. Awesome. Uh, will you be streaming Tolly Zoo next week? I want to, Tom. So yeah, that was another question I asked. I do want to stream Tolly Zoo, and, and so I'm going to make it happen. Um, but I got to figure out, so our better together here, let's, let's, let's chat. Let's, where's our snow leopard? Let's chat a bit. Um, so, okay, hold on. I'm going to get comfortable. <laughs> I'm gonna readjust myself here and get a little comfortable. Sorry, I got a little close to the mic there. Um, so uh, the competition ended. Competition ended, the better together. All your guys' fantastic entries. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to show them off. Um, but I'm waiting on a couple people to send in some adjustments because I'm missing some things for their their contest. And then, um, then that will go up sometime soon hopefully the voting will last 24 hours and then once i get the voting that'll be the top five uh entries will go in a video and then we'll stream the rest of those uh so we um we'll have to work in a stream for that either next week or the week after so i'm just trying to figure out when when we can fit in these streams um i also going forward wow look at that jump that was a that was a big jump. Um, I also want to add in some Sims streams uh, for Sunday late morning, like basically like we'd stream Planet Zoo for a couple hours and then take a little bit of break and then stream some um, stream some Sims Four. Um, I'm also going to with the new game pack that got that got announced that's coming out in a couple weeks for Sims. Um, gonna start a Let's Play, so I'm excited about that. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what I have going on for the channel right now. Lots of stuff coming. Um, I also need to film. I got uh, very excited to show you guys. I got uh, a little bit of a free goodie from a company um, as a partnership. So going to show that to you guys when I have the time. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I haven't, honestly, I haven't gotten into it yet. So um, it'll be a little bit of like a, like a review. It'll just be kind of integrated into one of the, one of the videos coming up soon. Um, but, uh, haven't gotten into it, so I can't tell you if I like it or I don't yet. <laughs> so I'll have to test it out and see, see how it goes. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of, that's kind of plans for the channel going forward. So, um, this is the last new habitat that we're adding to River Rock Zoo. So we will, uh, we will finish the polar bear habitat. Um, and then I got, I got a couple other plans for River Rock Zoo. So I'm, um, not building anything new myself, but, uh, <laughs> but you guys will see that. We'll, we'll wrap that up. We'll put it on the workshop and it'll be done. Um, and then moving over to Socorro Zoo and stuff. So, so yeah, I got a, I got a lot to do. I got a lot to do. All good things. All good, great, grand, wonderful things. <laughs> Inked flower leaf. It's okay. I'm sorry you're late too. We're just kind of wrapping up. Uh, do, did you play Sims free play? You mean like actually like playing with the Sims? Yeah, I used to. Um, so that's why I'm going to start a Let's Play because the new pack that got released is an interior designer career. Um, right up my alley. So I am so excited. Shells Bells, thank you so much for hanging out and thank you so much for your donation. You're so sweet. I'm always glad to have you here and as a wonderful part of our banana bunch. So thank you. We'll see you next week. Um, 
Let's build a zoo. Yes, Leaf. I am 100% signed up for the beta of Let's Build a Zoo. So they said that should be coming next week, I saw from the developers. So that cute little game will probably do like a first look kind of thing. And, and if, if it's successful, if you guys like it, um, I'll continue and do like a little mini series on that one. So I'm excited to get my hands on that one. I love the pixel art style. Um, so that'll be a new game coming. Hey Savannah, I started a new zoo. Do you have ideas for an entrance plaza? I don't have any off the top of my head or personally, but I highly suggest just going on Pinterest or Google images and looking up pictures of either theme park entrances, um, zoo entrances or, or plazas or whatever it is um, to get lots of ideas of how to lay things out. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, what is happening? Okay, my goodness. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Heather, busy Savannah. It's all very good. I'm all very excited about it. But um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you guys will all like it because that's the intent with everything I do is that it's for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye, Juju. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for the donations as well. I so, so appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I'm starting my reptile house in my zoo. I've been giving special attention to it because I'm studying to be a uh, uh, herbologist. That's awesome. That's great. Any chance of reviving sundew? Maybe. I'm never gonna say never because it just depends on you know what I get what I get inspiration for. Um, so yeah, so I'm never gonna say never, but I'm never I'm not gonna say uh, like a specific date or specific plan because there isn't one right now. Yeah, it just clipped out of the map. It just, like, sunk us, like, 50 feet into the ground for no reason. <laughs> Bye, Janella. Have a good day. I hope, I hope you do have a good day. And thank you so much for joining us. Again, as always. So, so appreciate it. But, um, but yeah, so that, that's plans for the channel. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. What animal should I add? An elephant or a clouded leopard what kind of zoo are you building and do you have do you have uh other big cats what's your theme i need more info i can't just give blind information or blind recommendations <laughs> um i'm probably gonna go i'm probably gonna be a paleontologist when you grow up that's fascinating drew that sounds like a, f a fascinating career that's awesome Rudy's another Planet Zoo YouTuber and asked the community on how they feel about adding orcas, sharks, dolphins in the game. How would you feel about adding them into the game? I think it's a game. I think it's a game. And I think, to be honest, because we're, we're not going to get into this, but I'll just say very short and sweet. People care about things that they can make connections with. And um, being able to make connections with animals in captivity is a really important part about raising education and raising awareness for what they need out in the wild. Um, that is not to say they obviously, all animals, every animal has a certain requirement that they need to live uh, happy and healthy and, and we do the best we can in captivity and sometimes you aren't able to. There's some smaller animals that just don't, don't do well in, act, in captivity um, for whatever reason. So. Um, but I think as far as Planet Zoo goes, specifically Planet Zoo, I think it's a game. And I think games are meant to be played how you want to play them. So if you want to put orcas in your zoo, great. You know, uh, people play, here's a good example. People play Sims all the time and they murder people. They, they literally, quite literally decide consciously, I'm going to murder this person. Does that make that person a murderer in real life? Probably not. Uh, cause it's a game. So because you put orcas in your zoo game doesn't mean that, you know, you want them to be in zoos in real life or vice versa. So that's how I feel about that one. But Silver Fox is right. I don't use mods, so I won't be putting them in my zoo. Um, this reminds me of the snow leopard habitat in your first zoo. Just a million times better. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm happy with how it came out. I think orcas and dolphins, no sharks. On the other hand, I have no problems. Hello, everyone. Teddy, we're just wrapping up. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but we're getting ready to sign off here. I got things to do. I got to go on a run. I got to eat some lunch. Uh, I got to uh, get ready to go down to a family member's house and hang out. So we are just wrapping up.
I wouldn't have killed those Sims if they just stopped complaining. <laughs> it's always something, right? They always did something to deserve it. It's never our fault. The Sims asked for it. Very healthy view on that, Savannah. Good thing some people still have some common sense. Thanks, Mario. Yeah. Savannah, I don't know if you answered this, but what's your favorite snake breed slash morph? Mine's the ball python and the anaconda morph hognose. Hognose snakes are really cool. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I have a favorite snake. I own a ball python, so probably that one. Um, but I'm terrible at knowing the morphs, the color variations and things that they, they have. So I'm so, I'm sorry about that. I, I don't have a favorite morph, but what did you miss? Dan, unfortunately you missed the whole stream, <laughs> but you can watch it back if you want to. We're just getting ready to wrap up here. Um, cause I got things to do, places to be. Oh, and I forgot about my trip to Target. I'm so upset, by the way, on a side note. Is anybody here uh, into Pokemon? Because um, I've been into Pokemon since they came out and into Pokemon TCG specifically since it came out in like 1999. Um, Target doesn't sell the cards in store anymore. And part of why I go to Target to do my errands is because there was Pokemon cards. And I'm very upset. I'm very sad. I'm very sad that middle-aged white men fighting over baseball cards had to ruin it. For everyone, because they can't just be mature and act like middle-aged white men. They have to act like 12-year-olds and punch each other. Ugh. Anyway, I, I have to go to Target, and that reminded me of the fact that they don't have Pokemon cards there anymore. Hog noses are the best. Yes, they're really cool snakes. Yeah, you hit the like button. Thank you so much. That helps out so much when you guys hit the like button. Ball pythons are legal in the UK. Where you, legal or illegal? They're a pretty common pet. It was just a question Rudy asked the community on how they felt about Frontier adding them to the game. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I, I totally agree on asking the community about their opinion and what they think and everything. Um, because... I mean, opinions, it makes great conversation, right? We, we should talk about, uh, um, we should talk about things. Everybody has a different opinion. Where, where I draw the line is if you're going to make somebody feel bad about their opinion. Um, if you're going to, you're going to name call, bully, whatever, that's not okay. You should be able to, to have an opinion and talk about it. So, um, the orcas are a perfect example. Um, but it gets heated, obviously, because it's, it's a real life conservation issue, so... Savannah, I've come to the conclusion that all men are 12. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> uh, what the heck is Pokemon? Silver Fox. Do you really not know what Pokemon is? Or are you joking? But yeah, yeah, wow, in Target. Walmart did the same thing. There's a video, I saw it a couple times on Twitter, where um, people in Walmart were, were like sprinting and pushing each other for baseball cards. Yeah, it's just trading card games have gone up that much in popularity. Yeah. It's it's crazy. It's insane. You barely know Silver Fox. <laughs> or, or Heather. Uh, yeah, it, it's a trading card game. It's a cartoon trading card game, video game, all that kind of stuff. It's, it's just a franchise. Heather? You don't know what it is. You should Google it. Pokemon. Here, look. I'll spell it. Pokemon. Great. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys. I think I'm going to sign off. Got some stinky food in our snow leopard habitat. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. So much. I so appreciate it. You guys were so supportive on this stream. Minty, hi. We're just signing off. I'm so sorry. It's sad people just buy and resell them here. Yeah. See, I sell my bulk cards. I do. I sell cards that I have duplicates of, but I don't buy them to sell them. I, I buy them and keep the cards that I need for my collection, my playing, and then I sell the bulk ones because I don't need to hold on to them. And I don't sell them at ridiculous prices. I sell them at, you know, normal prices so that average people can get a hold of them. The message came before I talked. Yeah, it's because of the the um, the delay in the stream. 
But yeah, bye everyone. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will I will talk to you uh, tomorrow. Don't forget, there is a video coming out tomorrow morning. Uh, and then I will talk at you guys in the next stream next week. So thank you guys as always for being here as always. Uh, and I greatly appreciate all the support, all the members. We're up to 14 channel members, you guys. That's fantastic. 14 channel members. Thank you for all the donations. You guys blew it out of the water today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll talk at you next week. Bye.